Hello guys and today I'm going to show you how to install any operating system on a virtual machine. So in this video I'm going to show you the example of installing Kali Linux. So before we start the video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And with that being said let's get started. So first after installing VMware just open it up and I'll provide the link in the description for VMware so you can download it and install it. So after opening it up just maximize it and click on create a new virtual machine. And it'll open up and then just click on custom and click on next and then let it be at workstation 12 and click on next and click on the installer disk image iso and browse for your installation iso so in my case i have it in a folder and it is the kali linux iso so it is the 32 bit so i'm going to show you what you have to do if it's a 64 bit as well so after that just click on next and uh, it's a Linux, so I'm just going to click on Linux and it is a Debian type software. So it's it's going to be Debian 7.x and if you have a 64 bit Debian 7.x 64 bit and click on next. And after that, let the location be the same and uh, name your virtual machine, whatever you want. So in my case, I'm just going to name it Kali Linux and click on next. And then here you can set the number of processors and the number of cores here. So I have one processor, so I'm going to click on one and I have two cores. So I'm going to click on two and click on next. And you can specify the amount of RAM that you want. So I'm going to just let it be at 512 and click on next and next and next and next and uh, create a virtual machine and next. And you can click on store virtual disk as a single file and click on next. And you can even change the size of it and then just click on next again and finish and it will show you that your operating system has been created and after that you just have to click on power on this virtual machine and it will start the virtual machine and uh, you have to install it like that only so it will it'll open up in VMware and uh, it will be the same process of installing it like you are doing on a fresh machine so here it is you just click on this and you can scroll down and just click on graphical install to install Kali Linux and it will show you the graphic interface of installing the operating system so it's loading it will take some time and it'll open up so after that you can select your language so i'm just going to click on english next and let the country be the same and click on continue and the keyboard also american english and click on next and it'll take some time so after this finishes i'll be back so it'll show you the host name just type in whatever you want or let it be the same and click on continue and it'll show you the domain name let it be the same and click on continue and it'll show you the password so you can put whatever you want at the root password and uh, i'm just going to type in admin and the re-enter the password also will be admin and just click on continue and then it'll be showing that it's setting up the clock and that will also take some time so you can select the time zone then just click on guided use entire disk and then just click on continue and continue and uh, all files in one partition and then click on continue and it will start it and then click on finish partition and click on continue and click on yes and click on continue and it will start partitioning the, the disks and it will start installing the operating system so this is the main part and it will take about 10 to 20 minutes and after this finishes up i'll be back Okay, after that it will show you that if you want to install grub bootloader or not so then just click on yes and click on continue and this is the last step of installing kali linux So it just finished installing it and it is showing you something in black and after that it will reboot VMware and it will reboot the operating system and after that it will show you that to log in to Kali Linux so just click on enter and it will load Kali Linux again and that means that the Kali Linux has finished installing so it will show you this and after, after some time of loading it because it's the first time of downloading it and installing it will take some time to open but after opening it up again it will open up really fast so it will show you that you have to enter the username so the username is root and click on next and your password is whatever you typed in that so in my case i have admin and it will start vmware so vmware has finally finished installing and you can do whatever you want in it so that's it guys thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to the channel and i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next video bye